welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the inverts and today we are doing an ant colony unbox and set up, naturalistic setup for these guys. Now we actually won our ant colonies from Antscapes, um, subscriber giveaway and Ants HQ had actually sponsored that video or partly sponsored that video and we have received the prize today. So let's bring you guys down, we'll unbox them and then we'll get to the naturalistic looking setup. So let's get into this box. I've already opened the top, just put it's got, got my name and address on it. But this is their calling card. We get two of these, so if you pause the video about now, you'll be able to get those details down for your personal use. Ant HQ, absolutely awesome. Spoke to them via Messenger, very responsive, very informative, um, really, really clued up. We also get three jelly pots and a pair of plastic tongs. And as you see a bit later on in this video with the macro footage, the ants that we've got here go absolutely mentally nuts for those jelly pots. And a bit further dig in and we'll skip along. And now we have the ants. There's actually two test tubes in here. It's a three colony, uh, three queens, sorry, to three to 400 workers. It looks more like about 600 workers. Um, but it's actually one colony, which is absolutely epic. The Merimica Reginus. Um, and if you have a look, you'll be able to catch the label for the spelling. There it is. I hope I pronounced it right. Um, please, if you're into ants, don't kill me for that one. But just look at all these ants. So, so excited. Massive thank you to Ryan. It's and obviously, awesome. uh, huge thanks to Ants HQ as well. So it is. I want to do a naturalistic enclosure for these guys. I have some ideas. Um, they're a European fire ant, so what that means is we can go into the woods. So guys, this is the setup. We've got Vaseline all around the top because that's apparently going to help to stop the ants um, escaping. But this species is not known for climbing. And I've also taped up all the edges and all the gaps and smothered underneath of that tape with Vaseline. Um, that corner in the left is a load of cork bark and hardwood bark, creating like a wood pile effect with tons of moss in there from out the garden and the plants are all on the left hand side. What I hope is those plants sort of overgrow and really fill up that left hand side, which then leaves the right hand side open for me to put the feeds and the sugar water in there. And, but we've got the buried Buddha at the back just there loads of moss in there because they like the high humidity in fact the higher the humidity um obviously not going for the overly wet but if it's humid area that's where they're going to be laying their nests and um, ryan from antscapes suggested that i do what i'm doing now which is to bury the test tubes slightly um, and then just take the lids off and let the ants either move to a better spot or keep those test tubes as their actual colonies and their homes. So I'm putting these in and I can see the ants all moving around on the end and I'm getting really excited. Um, but just bury them up so that it's nice and dark in there. So if they want to stay in there, they can. But as you can see, as soon as I take these tops off these, there's no holding the ants back. They're out and about. The workers go shooting around looking for a new place to set up camp. Just look at them, literally absolutely flooding out. I couldn't believe it when this happened because, like I said, they just absolutely flood out everywhere. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, let's get some music going, get some close-ups and some of the footage of this setup.
Boom, so that's what we won from Antscape's giveaway. Absolutely mental. Um, these ants are off their heads. Literally looking for somewhere to go and set up their camp. Uh, I was chatting to Ryan. He said what they actually do is they'll have one main colony base and then maybe one or two like satellite kind of little spots as well. So as humans, we'd have a big city and then we'd have little villages or a town coming off those. These ants do exactly the same, which is absolutely amazing. So looking forward to watching them drink the sugar water, munch the beetle, beetle um, jelly pot that which they're absolutely covered and obviously when we put dead food in there um, we, it's going to be amazing to watch them destroy like a dead Mario worm or a hopper or something I could see me maybe doing a time lapse any suggestions let me know down in those comments go check out Antscapes and as always we shall see you again on the next one